soaring, Brandon was grinding. Brandon has won the flightweight title in Arizona while Henry is 9-0 in the UFC making his way to the top. You see, the promotional company that Brandon was flyweight champion for was owned by Henry's wrestling coach, who was searching for sparring to help Henry during camp versus Josier Formiga. Brandon had the Brazilian jiu-jitsu background to help Henry tighten up his BJJ. Henry brought Brandon into camp and the two quickly became friends. Brandon describes that Henry was very nice and helped him in many ways. Not only by training with him, Henry also helped out Brandon by helping him with food, providing a place to stay, and even help Brandon get his wife over in the States. Needless to say, the scenario sounds like Henry and Brandon were close. By the time Brandon was called by the Ultimate Fighter, Henry had lost to Demetrius Johnson. So to regain a title shot, he had to fight title contender Joseph Benavides. And to create hype and animosity between Benavides and Cejudo, Dana White picked them as the coaches for the Ultimate Fighter. At the same Ultimate Fighter that Brandon Moreno had been called to. In the Ultimate Fighter, the coaches select the teams. The fighters are ranked and the top seed fights the lowest ranked fighter. But the rankings were revealed as they are chosen. So let's say if you're chosen first, and you're ranked number one, the number one ranked fighter, he would fight the number 16th ranked fighter. So to recap the scenario, Henry is close with Brandon, who shared his home and fight camp with Brandon, was first to pick in the Ultimate Fighter, a tournament meant to showcase new and up and coming fighters who are rewarded with a title shot if they win it all. So one would assume that Henry having first pick would choose his teammate first. The guy he helped bring his wife over to the States. The guy who sleeps under his roof. But blinded by wanting to beat Joseph Benavidez, Henry wanted to gain an edge. Throwing friendship aside and selecting the number one ranked fighter in the tournament. Life would make Henry pay for that decision. Because the 16th ranked fighter was Brandon Moreno. And the rules state that the opposite seed of the one chosen would be coached by the other team. So Brandon was not only passed up as first pick by Henry, but he would also be the lowest ranked fighter, pinning friends against each other because Henry would eventually have to man the corner against Brandon. Benavides and Henry had a fierce rivalry that was magnified by the show. So maybe his decision was blinded by his competitiveness and this caused him to put his friendship aside. But it's most likely that Henry believed that Brandon was not the talent we all know. This would cause the relationship to deteriorate. Brandon describes in his interview that Henry spoke to him after this and he was being apologetic about the whole ordeal. But he was heartbroken and hurt that his close friend would pass up on choosing him and would now have to face him. Brandon would go on to lose against Pantoja, winning performance of the night. This one brilliant opportunity would become a nightmare for Brandon. He had lost his first fight and also lost a friend, or at least someone he considered a friend and maybe even a brother. The loss would send Brandon back to TJ with no offer from the UFC, but life would give